What's up, everybody? It's Ryan Donnelly from RyanD.com. Check out calmsupport.com for stress, relaxation, immune, and sleep support. Products also on Amazon and RyanD.com for free addiction coaching powered by donations. In today's video, I'm going to talk about two things. Um, one of which I talk about a lot, but it's good to just, you know, bring it back up because it's one of the, the main things people worry about when they first start the withdrawal process is, am I ever going to feel better? Is this the way I'm going to be forever? Am I ever going to have energy back? Am I ever going to be social? Am I ever going to be happy again? And all the answers to that are yes. You will get everything back, all right? You will probably be better off than you ever were because you went through this this period of time in your life which was ultimately shit because you made a change, okay? You didn't stay on the path because obviously things weren't going that well. And the thing that a lot of people really you know, have a hard time with is are you ever gonna be happy again because you look at the substance as your you know pleaser if you have a bad day you used if you had a good day you used it was your go-to for your emotions really and you used to not get sick some people you used to be happy you used when you're upset you used for everything okay so when you take that out of the equation you're like oh shit how am I gonna deal with my problems how am I gonna get up in the morning how am I gonna you know sell people on stuff if I'm a salesman how am I gonna talk with people and you know you lose you lose who you are over a period of time using and you think you actually need this substance but remember you were alive before you ever used this stuff okay you you were able to function normally without it so why would your brain tell you that you need it for the rest of your life because that's what the brain does I mean you know, your brain sick and you think that you need it to function, but the truth is you never needed it, okay? You used it and it gave you a euphoria in the beginning that ultimately, you know, it backhanded you. And it, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it pretty much sideswiped you. I can't think of the, the word I'm looking for, but um, what you thought was something special and great really isn't. And it actually is the, you know, torment of your life. So that's one thing I want to talk about. Yes, you will get happy again. You will have, you know, the desire to go on and, and do things and, and be positive again. Because when you stop using in the beginning, you, everything goes to shit. I mean, your brain is like, give me more, give me more. And you're depressed. And I mean, depressed, I don't even think is the right word for it. Because you just feel like a black hole. You don't feel like anything's ever going to get better. Plus, you feel like shit. So, can you guys be quiet? So, um, it's very important to know that it, you will be happy again. You'll be ecstatic in the future because you'll look back on this time and you'll be able to gauge what real hell is. I mean, you lived through it. So, use that as motivation to know that, yes, you will be happy again. You will probably be a better version of yourself, okay? Most people I talk to, I'd say the overwhelming majority are happier clean. Very rare do I meet people that say they need it to, you know, function and, you know, it, the constant relapse, and that's fine. If you have to go on opiate replacement therapy and it's last case scenario, you know, and there's no, you've relapsed, you know, countless times, that's the way it's gotta go. I mean, as long as you're not in a ditch and you're not in jail and you're not, you know, dead, if you can control it and, you know, live a productive life, do whatever you gotta do. That's what I wanna say first. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the other thing I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about happiness and then I wanted to talk about how oh, there was another subject. I hate when I do this. I'm sure you do too. Don't click away because it's going to come back to me. It was, I want to talk about happiness. Okay, I'm not going to remember. I might have to do another video later. Um, so we'll leave it at that. Yes, you will be happy again. You will have your motivation. You will have your life back. You will be excited to wake up in the morning and life will seem great again. Um, and you might not believe me, but there's people in the comment section that will back me up and say, yes, he's telling the truth. You will feel like a million dollars in the future and you'll feel, and you'll question yourself, why the hell did I wait so long? Why did I wait to you know, free myself from this demon? And, um, it's not over once you free yourself. You got to work a program and work on yourself. But uh, definitely, um, I figured out what it was. And I talk about this a lot. 
Pink cloud syndrome. All right, so somebody commented yesterday on yesterday's video where I talked about rapid opioid uh, detox. And she wondered what uh, pink cloud effect is. And a lot of people know what this is, but I want to rehash it for people that don't. After you have about, you know, 10 to 14, sometimes 21 days clean, you get these spouts of euphoria and you feel like, you know, you're going to take over the world and you feel fantastic. Your brain is, you know, working on chemicals and producing and sometimes you have an overabundance of certain chemicals and you feel like a million dollars. So you're outside, you're, you're working, you got energy, you feel social, you're, you're bing, bang, boom, boom, and you're like, I got this recovery thing kicked. I'm never going to use drugs again. And the next day you wake up and you feel like dog shit. And you're like, what the hell? What, what just happened? And that's just a fluctuation of brain chemicals in your brain healing. So they call it pink cloud syndrome because you're on this, you feel like you're on a pink cloud. And out of nowhere, you get backstabbed. You feel like, you know, everything's destroyed. And you're like, oh shit, is this the way recovery is going to be? I feel like shit, blah, 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 I'm depressed again. Just be aware that there's going to be waves, okay? You're going to have these waves of euphoria. You're going to have waves of depression. Just understanding when it goes up, what goes up must come down, you know, the yin and the yang. There's an equal balance, all right? So don't get discouraged when you wake up and you don't feel well, okay? It's just part of the game, all right? And eventually things will level out and you'll feel better, all right? So that's the other thing I want to talk about. Check out calmsupport.com for stress, relaxation, immune, and sleep support. Products also available on Amazon and ryand.com for free addiction coaching powered by donations. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.